Hey, good morning, guys. Chris Allgauer, Town & Country Lawn Care. Today is Thursday. I am down here at Riggs Outdoor Power in beautiful downtown LaPorte. And uh, Alan. Alan is the new guy at the desk. Um, introduce you to him. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Come get your parts if you need them. <laughs> We're going to cut that out. I don't want you guys to look retarded. <laughs> you say, hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. All right. And your name? Tim. Tim? All right. And this behind me, this man is Jeff. This is the uh, store manager. Uh -oh. <laughs> he, he don't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, that's all good. Anyways, uh, they were gracious enough to uh, loan me. The Super Z60 with the carbureted engines, the Kawasaki FX1000. Alright guys, so I've concluded the writing portion of this uh, demo review. This machine I put about 12 hours on. Right. This machine gave a, a fairly decent ride for being a rigid mower. Rigid by not having um, suspension, uh, flex wheels anything like that. Uh, it does have a bit of a uh, suspension seat, but this, it, it took, it took oh, quite a while actually to get used to this. Um, it felt as though when I first got on this seat, it, it was very firm. You sit on these things all day long, you want something nice to sit in. Uh, we all go home with sore backs, sore butts. Uh, so, you want a nice seat. This is, I believe, their base seat. So, I'm not all that worried about it. If you want a better seat, there are better seats to, to get. That, that is a better seat. Um, it's a little more cushiony, gives you the support. Um, but yeah, I felt like I was on a skateboard on this because I, when I was coming to the end of a run and I moved forward, just it didn't feel it. I got used to it. Though. One, of, one of the other uh, things that I noticed about this unit when I first got on it was that it felt as though I was sitting up high. Now, to hustler, maybe that doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Maybe that was what they were aiming for, I don't know. Um, but I, I'm, I'm used to sitting down into the machine a little bit further down. Um, I noticed it right away when I sat on it, and then when I was mowing with it, I noticed because there were uh, some low trees that I mow under that I can on my machines, but when I got on this one, I couldn't. I guess that's probably a preference thing. Different operators, different uh, different companies. I did four yards, and one tank was empty. I did two yards, and this side was half empty. This thing doesn't mess around when it comes to drinking fuel. You will tell me now there are differences between this machine and that machine. That one has horizontal pins for the height adjustment. Whereas this one, this one's got them on top. I like this better. I like this 10 times, 20 times better than that. Those pins are a pain in the ass to try to turn, get in there the right way. Um, this, the decal's right here. You just drop the pin in whatever height you want. That, the decal's on the side. It's just, I mean, your legs right there, trying to do all this is a this is a far better design, far better idea. I don't care for the uh, where I'm sitting. The controls are almost almost behind me. Like here's my side. Here are the controls. They're they're almost behind me. I don't care for that. Uh, that particular unit, the hour meter which has the fuel tanks in it, 
or your fuel gauges was fogging up. Like I said, it, it has very, very low hours on it. Uh, that thing has been kept inside. It's been housed in a trailer or it's been parked indoors. Uh, there's just no reason to have moisture affecting the components like it, like it, like it was. Uh, but again, I don't like that the instrument panel is almost behind me. Uh, and that's as far back as the seat goes, and it's still right, right next to me. Uh, I want them up here. I don't know how you guys are, but I, I, want, I want ease of operation. Um, the functionality is there. It's got your PTO your hour meter has 2.7 hours on it it's got twin gas gauges one for the left one for the right and they are labeled left right which is nice um, choke and throw uh, and dummy light um, very plain very plain. You got two fuses right here. Um, there's not a lot. There's not a lot here. Uh, Hustler, if you're watching, hopefully you are. Give us somewhere to put some stuff. You know, whether it be gloves, work gloves, or your your phone, or some. I mean, operators. We have we have belongings. Uh, give us somewhere to put stuff and put it over here you got these these big cavities what have you that have wires running through them or whatever's underneath there I don't know what's in there but come on give the operator somewhere to put their s smokes or their chew or their headphones or give us a USB port so that this machine doesn't have um, I mean, this is an eleven thousand, high eleven thousand dollar machine. So is the one that I'm sitting on, I believe. Um, give us, give us a little extra here. Uh, now, let's let's pat their back a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this deck is probably indestructible I mean you know, a leading edge on it integrated caster wheels which I do like it um, the thickness on that I mean this, this they did not skimp building these decks these these things they're probably bulletproof um, look, at the, look at the thickness of that almost as thick as my finger is it's it's a beefy and they got half inch plate there I mean it's not all that thickness right there it's not the entire deck but they they, they put a lot of time and energy in building these decks um, I love this the way they've got it hung a lot of the manufacturers are going to that uh, chain stretch the uh, bolts that the chains hang on they waller out they wear out they go bad they bend uh, trying to level a deck that's hanging on chains after the chains have stretched unevenly and yeah good night not easy um, so I, I am a fan of the, the, the hanging system for this deck I'm a fan of that height adjuster, not that one. And this, that's not a bad idea either, the way they, they have the lift system. Um, I am a fan of that seat, but I'm not a fan of that one. And 
be honest with you, sitting here looking at them, they look identical. I don't know what the difference is, but they, they look they look identical. Uh, the whole entire frame is welded. Very nice. That's it. I give them I give them two thumbs up on the design. Everything's very well thought out. Um, give me a fan there, which is nice. So I suppose that fan right there, it's cooling the hydraulic fluid, so that's 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 fine. Um, these back wheels on the back of the mowers. I know what the I know what the idea on that is, as far as climbing down curbs going you know uh, I've bottomed out in some ravines not expecting to and that's due to the <laughs> as low as the back of this machine sits and that's why they also have the skid plate behind the muffler because they know that their machine sits low in the, in the butt and going down or up an embankment you're going to catch you're gonna get stuck and those wheels do assist um, like I said I I bottomed out on this particular machine today, and uh, it wasn't a, a very steep incline. Um, the uh, hydraulic lines, I, I want to point this out. All manufacturers need to go to this. These hoses right there, on a lot of the machines are still the, the braided hose, high pressure hose. Look at the dampeners on those steering sticks. The ease, the ease of operation for this, these machines, it's there. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty simplistic. Looking at them, what is what? How do you do anything with them? Um, It's a very typical XL setup. Um, it's worked for them. The, the big steel hydraulic tank under the seat. Um, yeah. Everything's tucked away nice and neat. You have plenty of room to get to stuff. You want to do an oil change? Right there's your oil filter. You can get to it from the side, right here. So that's easy. The drain plug is right there. You got a nice hole underneath for the oil to drain out. Here's your oil dip. You can check it right there. <coughs> and it has the the hyperdrive hydro system cooler. Um, I'm a fan of that. I think I do like that better than uh, having the fans on the right on the pumps individually. So I'll, I'll give I'll give them a thumbs up on doing this and that over there with that one. This Super Z, it's the FS1, FX1000V. When I got this mower, it had 0.4 hours on it. It has 3.4 hours on it. Now, when I got this mower, it also had two fuel, two full fuel tanks. And they are both now empty. $30 in gas in three hours. That's $10 a, an hour is what this machine is costing to run. That's along with your mower payment. 